Hey guys, and welcome to the Week in Review. I'm Lighthouse, and this is what's happened the last week in Black Desert. So, to start off with, with the upcoming maintenance, a few new events will be starting. Beer Fest event will start, which if it's similar to last year, is a great way to earn silver. Call of Moonlight Shard event will start, which is always nice just for getting a few extra memory fragments. But the biggest thing is Node War changes will be implemented, which means that all those changes about limiting the number of players in a Node War based on the tier, as well as limiting guild alliances and other such things that have been talked about in the last two patch notes of Black Desert, are finally going to be added to the game. Now, following up with that, teleporters and speed hackers are on the rise again. People have been reporting seeing a lot more teleporters, speed hackers, and other unsavory types, thanks to the new event involving the rum chests. So, players are still petitioning the devs to do another ban wave, as it's been roughly three months, but to no seeming effect, as there's not been a ban wave in three months. Apart from that, Pearl Abyss has also been making some moves this week. There's been two big sort of updates since we learned that the Russian server would be losing its license last week. So, the first one is that Pearl Abyss is to acquire... EVE Online's CCP Games. CCP Games publishes EVE Online, probably the biggest space MMO currently in existence, uh, also known as Spreadsheet Online because of how many spreadsheets you need to play the game at a high level. So there are mixed reviews about this. Uh, most players for EVE are really hoping that Pearl Abyss doesn't really interfere too much and that they just sort of acquire CCP's knowledge for MMO development but don't interfere with their development of EVE Online. This top post here being pretty much the general attitude from EVE players. Now, the Russian server, the news that we've received is that they will be self-published by Pearl Abyss. Pearl Abyss is planning to uh, self-publish the Russian server. All accounts and characters will be migrated over, so there's probably gonna be quite a few reports about players losing characters, or items in this migration, but that's what's going to happen. So there are posts about the worries of Pearl Abyss self-publishing in other regions once their licensing of Pearl Abyss, or not Pearl Abyss, but Black Desert, runs out. Uh, a rather popular post, even though it didn't give very many upvotes, was about why Pearl Abyss publishing in your region isn't such a great thing, as they replaced your website, they replaced the uh, sort of support system, and they throw in so many pay-to-win things into the cash shop that players just can't keep up. Loyalty items might also be downgraded. But for now, there's no guarantee that that will happen to Kakao in North American EU, and it's only been confirmed that they will be publishing video in Russia, which brings their total self-published servers to, I believe, four, with Russia, C, Mina, and Korea. So, finally, after all of that, we go to the Steam charts. So, looking at it again, uh, it's down a little bit from last week. At this point last week, uh, the peaks were a bit higher, going up to 15 and 17,000. Whereas this week, the highest peak was only just under 15,000. So, nothing really to worry about. It's still a net gain in the last 30 days, but do remember that July and August had fairly significant losses, and those were the only two of the last six months that did not have player losses. Uh, sorry, June was the only one of the last six months that did not have a loss of players for the month. So this month, it's a net gain, but that is because we had a huge loss of players in August. Anyways, guys, that's the Week in Review. As always, I'm Lighthouse. Comment below what you think. Are you worried about the acquisition of uh, the Russian server by Pearl Abyss as self-publishing? Are you worried about the increased number of hackers? Uh, are you concerned about Node Wars? Are you happy about the changes in the direction the game is taking? Or, and do you think the game is in a good state? Comment below, subscribe if you liked it, and as always, have a good one.